Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front radiator grill on this 2005 Nissan Maxima. Pretty much the same as any 04 to 08. Tools you'll need are flat blade screwdriver, pliers, Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension, and a flashlight. I do remove the entire bumper cover because I find that's the easiest and the best way to get the grill apart. Uh, otherwise, you risk breaking the bumper cover, and you'll see that somebody who took apart this car before had already done that. Okay, start with your hood open and remove two clips. One here, use a flat blade screwdriver, pry up on the center. Okay. Then pull the clip up and out. Okay, now this is free. Okay, same thing over here on this side. Pry up on the center. Okay, up underneath in front of the wheels are two Phillips screws. You'll want to remove those. And now you kind of pull this out and pull your inner fender out like that. Okay. You can pull this back. You can see the back of your uh, side light. Okay. It's a little hard to film, but there's the connection right here. There's a tab on the outside. Pull that tab and disconnect it. Okay, now up inside, there's a 10 millimeter bolt that you want to remove. Okay, and also if you reach your hand a little further up in, you'll feel another one of those bolts. Okay, generally I found the best tool is a socket with an extension and a ratchet. Okay, just going to fast forward through removing those two bolts and obviously again I'm doing this on the passenger side you want to repeat the same procedure on the other side. There's a series of the pins like um, on top and there are six right across here. Okay, looks like this vehicle has been apart. It looks like it only has two of the original ones. One's missing there and then it's got kind of a different style over here. The other option is you can take this apart up here, which has the same thing, series of pins. Uh, you can see on this vehicle, it's actually got a bolt here and no pins here. And it looks like they may have actually super glued this together. Now I'll fast forward here again as I'm pulling the clips out, just like on top, uh, you pry the center out. Um, and then pull the clip down. On the bottom, they're a little more difficult usually because sand and dirt has gotten in and it makes the clip difficult uh, to get apart. So you'll probably need a screwdriver as well as a pair of needle nose pliers. Okay, once you've got those fasteners off, just pull firmly on each side, out, and firm. by the sides here. Pull forward and the whole fascia comes off. Okay, so I find it much easier to take the grill off um, when you pull the fascia off. Um, and this grill is, uh, this is a perfect example why. This vehicle, somebody has just kind of ripped this off. Or maybe it got damaged in an accident or something. But you can see there's supposed to be little slots here where these tabs in the grill uh, lock into. And with it off, you can easily get in here with a screwdriver, push on these tabs, and unlock them. Um, but you can see that somebody didn't do that. And in addition to that, what you want to do is over here, there's just a little plug. You push the middle of the plug down, okay, and that allows that to unlock. Okay, and as I said, you would normally unlock each one of these tabs and pull the grill off. Okay, but my fascia has been broken. Uh, and then, additionally, if you wanted to, on a new grill to put this, you'll want to change this top panel over. And there's basically just four um, clips: one, one here, here, and then on 
this side as well. And these clips are just like the other ones. You pry up the center, pull the clip out, okay, and then to put it back together, you just push the clip in. Oops. Just push the clip in and then put the locking tab right in. Okay. Now the grill on my vehicle is fine. The fascia is uh, kind of messed up, but I can't really do much about that. Um, and once you get the grill off, it's actually easier to put the fascia back on and then reinstall the grill. clips right on top here in, lock them in place, Okay, I'm just going to speed it up as I put those clips in the bottom of that panel. Load the uh, bolts in here, and then what you can do is kind of pull out on your fender. You can put the bolt up through first, then push it in and start it into the fender. Once you have that one started, then start this one. Same thing, you kind of look it up through, get it in, start it in the fender. starts getting tight, kind of push in on your fender a little bit, make it nice and flush. Okay, here I'm just reaching in, uh, grabbing the harness for that cornering light and plugging it back in. Okay, now just push your fender back up and in. And now reinstall the two Phillips screws underneath. Uh, obviously, um, repeat the procedures for the other side. reinstall your grill. Normally you're going to carefully want to watch the bottom tabs right in, press it down and into place. Okay, and then replace your clips up here. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.